I'm going to be showing you an insane titan build for the solar 3.0 update in season 17 season of the haunted this build is for the burning maul titan and the burning maul has had a 25% damage buff to pve and one of the biggest contributors to this build is the changes of roaring flames and bungie have added a behavior that whilst Roaring Flame is active, your uncharged melee attack now deals solar damage and it applies 30 Scorch stacks to targets per hit. And if you've got the Ember of Ashes equipped, this increases to 40 stacks. So essentially, this is just your normal melee punch. And the normal melee punch now deals solar damage and applies Scorch, which is quite amazing. And starting off with the build itself, you should use a rally barricade as always since it has a slower cooldown. For the melee, you can use the throwing hammer even though we're using consecration for the build. And as for the grenade, you can use fusion nades as it has the shortest cooldown but it really just depends on your preference. For the aspects, this is where you'll notice that fusion has come into play. So we are dropping off Soul Invictus and we are picking up Warring Flames as well as Consecration. The reason that we're doing this is because Soul Invictus cannot be propped by the changes that we're making to our armor. Consecration has got a new fragment slot, which means we can add an additional fragment and we're also getting a higher damage bonus from Roaring Flame because we're using solar abilities all the time and this then stacks up three times and gives us more damage. For the fragments, you can use Ember of Sinjin as this is going to give you a faster recharge on our solar ability, meaning that we can use our barricade more often. You can also use Ember of Searing which grants you melee energy when defeating Scorched targets. The final two fragments to use is called Ember of Empyrean, which increases the restoration and radiant effects applied and it's going to extend the duration every time you get a solar or weapon ability kill. And the other fragment is called Ember of Torches which makes powered melee attacks against combatants make you radiant as well as your allies. For your armor, make sure to use the Lawly Splendor Helm. And this is great because every time you use your barricade, you'll get restoration to proc. And the other reason is because it creates a sunspot and you're also proccing Soul Invictus. So this build is using three aspects at one time. I hope you found this video useful. Make sure to like and subscribe more Destiny 2 content. Thanks for watching.